What's making the world scream in fear? Brace yourself for the hair-raising web comics that chilled even Korea's summer heat wave. A man waits for the last subway in an empty station. He sees a strange woman on the platform. She seems drunk, staggering about with her long hair over her face. With a pitiful glance at the woman, he begins to talk about her at an online community. Persuaded by the community users, he takes a photo of her and uploads it. At that very moment, the woman bangs her head hard against the wall. Strangely enough, her head remains almost clutched to the wall, as if she is unable to break free. The man raises his head only to see that the woman is no longer there. Step by step, he moves slowly towards the rail track. The man was never heard of again. Next day, there was only a report of a man and a woman who committed suicide at that subway station. No one knows whether the victims of wrongful death return as spirits, but never look back when you pass these stations. <gasps> The 
countries around the world have their own ghosts and monsters. Romania has the Dracula. Western countries have werewolves. China has its hopping vampires. And West African countries have zombies. Then what about Korea? Korea has none other than the Gumio, a fox that has lived a thousand years. With red eyes and sharp teeth, a Gumio is always dressed in white morning clothes and is known to be stunning and sensuous, able to seduce all men. It's no wonder that this figure has been portrayed on screen by the beauties of our time. Han He Suk began the trend in 1977, followed by Ko So Young in 1994, Park Min Yong in 2008, and Han Ung Jong in 2010. Many actresses covet the chance to play a Gumio because it's a proven fact that the role will lead them to stardom. A Gumio strives to become a human by eating the liver of a living person or that of a corpse found in cemeteries. But the story of the Gumio never has a happy ending. It is said that a Gumio can be reborn as a person if she lives with a human for 1,000 days. This Gumio has one more day to go to make her dream come true. However, her husband, who has resisted the urge to follow her for 999 days, gives in to his courtesy. What awaits him is the truth, that his wife is a 1,000-year-old fox. With just one more day to go until becoming a human, the Gumio's 1,000-year-old dream is ruthlessly shattered by the betrayal of her husband. The story of the Gumio always comes to a tragic end due to the betrayal of none other than human beings. UFO로 매우 높은 고도에 뜬 UFO일 가능성이 크다는 잠정 판독 결과를 내놨습니다. On October 6, 2011, the evening news aired the testimonies of those who saw a UFO flying over Guangwa Gate. Then was the UFO that supposedly visited Seoul real? Ha Jun, 
a UFO hunter was also in the area at that time with his fellow hunters, waiting for a UFO to appear. What his camera recorded was quite extraordinary. Appearing as a white dot, this unidentified object looks too irregular to be seen as an airplane or a helicopter. Anticipating another UFO appearance that day, he had been staking out around there. 오후 4시에 이 광화문 상공에 UFO가 출현을 하였고 제가 이제 사람들한테 알렸죠. UFO가 나타났다. 근데 이제 간신들이 없으시더라고. 간신들이 없어 가지고 일단 그런 건 무시하고 제가 이제 카메라에 담기 시작하였습니다. 오! 야! 한 대가 이렇게 날아가. 그 광화문에는 이제 청와대가 있고요. 또그 청와대가 있기 때문에 그 청와대를 지키는 어, 대공 군사 기지 방어망이 철통같이 구비되어 있습니다. 우리나라 수도 서울의 한복판이면서도 이제 청와대가 있고 청와대를 지키는 대공 군사 기지 방어망이 촘촘히 구축되어 있기 때문에 UFO들의 호기심을 증폭시키는 이유 중에 하나고. His success at UFO hunting goes all the way back to 2005. He also managed to film a UFO in 2006 before succeeding again this year. Yeah, Although opinions vary regarding the existence of UFOs, these objects with unidentified origins and purposes continue to appear every once in a while. In fact, one may be flying above you at this very instant. Located in Chinan Kun, North Chola Province, my mountain always attracts an endless line of visitors. At the top sits Topsa Temple, as well as one of Korea's most famous mysteries, the Stone Towers of My Mountain. As if trying to receive some of the mysterious energy from the towers, Visitors make their wishes at the temple. <laughs> this amazing scene is created by some 80 stone towers, which are essentially stones of all sizes, piled on top of each other. Among them, Chunji Tower stands unrivaled, boasting a height of 15 meters and a circumference of more than 20 meters. Legend has it that near the end of Joseon Dynasty, a 25-year-old man named Lee Gapyong 
received a divine revelation in his dream while practicing asceticism in the mountain. So he began to build these towers, and throughout his life he built 108 of them, all by himself. The mystery lies in the fact that these towers stood undamaged for hundreds of years amidst typhoons and gales, although nothing kept the rocks fixed, no adhesives, no cement, no grooves. The stone towers on my mountain provide a mystery that cannot be found anywhere else in the world and remain to this day as Korea's immortal masterpiece. What do Wonder Girls, 2PM, and Girls' Generation have in common? Besides the obvious fact that they are idol groups leading Hallyu, there's something else that connects them. A number of beliefs rooted in geomancy have existed from the past. For example, finding an ideal site for one's ancestral grave is thought to bring prosperity and choosing a good spot for one's house can bring success. One of the most ideal locations in Seoul is occupied by Gyeongbok Palace. 구각산이 뒤에서 받쳐주고 앞쪽으로는 이제 남산이 있고 어, 좌측에는 낙산이 있고 우측에는 어, 인왕산이 있죠. 현무 주작 좌청령 우백호를 풍수에서는 4대 요소라고 합니다. 경복궁 근정전과 같이 이렇게 중앙에 위치되어 있으면서 그 사람이 살 궁궐을 짓고 한 나라를 통치할 수 있는 큰 명당을 맺어주는 것을 어, SM Entertainment is at the forefront of the Hallyu culture. Why does the specialist say that the office is located in an ideal spot? JYP Entertainment is also a key contributor to the Hallyu craze. Then how favorable is its location? 아까 SM이나 JYP 여기도 똑같은 방향성의 이러한 그러한 출입문 구조입니다. 그렇기 때문에 이 사람들은 무엇인가 알 풍수를 대입해서 잡았는지 아니면 우연히 이런 곳을 얻었는지는 모르겠으나 하여튼 그 연예인들이나 연예 기획사 이런 거 하시는 분들한테는 상당히 그 이로운 부분인 것은 맞습니다. The common trait linking Super Junior, Wonder Girls, and Girls' Generation is none other than their ideally located management companies. The secret to success in Korea's entertainment industry is ghost sighting. Let's take a look at the paranormal rumors attached to hit songs and movies. Ghosts are sent to frequent recording studios or movie sets. <laughs> Oh, 
Singers often speak of experiencing bizarre incidents in recording studios. <laughs> what exactly did the singer hear? The source of the noise turns out to be... So which celebrities enjoyed great success after hearing such bizarre happenings? Lee Sung Hwan's Plea was released in 1997. Its music video caught a female ghost sitting in the driver's seat in the subway train. The Lee mystery was amplified when Lee swore that it was not a fabrication. In 2007, singer Seven heard the voice of an unknown woman while recording a song for his second album. Only he and his producer were in the studio. The song they were recording was Passion, which would go on to become a mega hit upon release. Also in 2007, Wonder Girls You Been had to lip sync in a performance due to her throat condition. But the audience heard a ghost singing along to her part in a high-toned voice. The song in question was so hot. At an eerie movie set portraying a Japanese-style house, actress Im Soo Jung got the shock of her life when she saw a headless ghost going up and down the stairs. The movie she was filming at that time was A Tale of Two Sisters, which became an instant hit the moment it was released. Singers continue to toil away at their studios, dreaming of that one song that will bring them stardom. Will they be able to meet the ghost today? Korean shamans worship their gods and also use spiritual experiences to predict the future or help people with their troubles. In order to become shamans, they need to become possessed. Here, soon-to-be shaman, Kim Mi Gyeong is undergoing Shinarim Gud. Shinarim Gud is called a Jopshin. 접신인데 접 그냥 저희 같은 모블 통신을 할 수도 있어요. 근데 모블 통신을 한다 그러면 이 분이 정말 맞는 옳은 신명이신지 바른 신명이신지 맑은 신명인지 알 수가 없잖아요. 제가 등에 뭐 꽂혔어요? 등에 꽂혔어? 네. 뭐가 꽂혔을까? 고무신은 어떤 색이? 고무신 까만색이야. 그러면 그분은 가시라고 했어요. 그분은 가시고 그분은 못 들어오시는 분이니까 They must be wary of evil spirits. 행위를 통해서 그거를 정식적으로 받고 그리고 그 모습을 
그러니까 모습을 저희가 형상화 대부분 보거든요. 근데 그 모습을 받고 그거에 대해서 음, 원력이라든지 그 행위라든지 그런 거를 저희가 받는 거죠. A body cleansing ritual is carried out to avoid evil spirits and embrace a god with extraordinary energy. One can only become a good shaman when one is possessed by a god with a pure spirit. Another god enters Kim's body. 왕관, 네, 왕관, 네. 그렇지, 그렇지, 그렇지. 또, 어이구, 거리야, 그분이야. 왕관. 옷 색깔이 뭐야? 옷 색깔을 못 봤어요. 근데 왕관만 보이시고요. 어, 왕관을 쓰고 오시는 거예요. 구름 같은 거 이렇게. 구름 같은 거. 햇볕 같은 거. 햇볕. 코가 눈부신데 제가 옷하고 얼굴은 못 봤어요. 못 봤어? 네. 음, 그럴 때 이제 오시지, 뭐, 우리 오셨네. 네. 그럼 얼른 한번 뛰어갖고 받아. Lest the god might leave her, Kim jumps up and down earnestly to receive the spirit, showing her keen desire. At long last, she becomes possessed. <laughs> To express her gratitude, a sacrificial ritual is held for the god. The spirit of Kim's biological mother, whom she was separated from at a young age, comes to meet Kim through her spiritual mother and resolves her sorrows. Once possessed, the shaman proves that she has embraced a good god through extraordinary acts such as standing on top of a sharp straw cutter or on a thin sheet of paper without ripping it. Other rituals followed to make sure that the god stays inside Kim. She is now truly reborn as a shaman. 특별한 사람들만이 받을 수 있는 것을 나도 받았구나 이런 안도감 같은 것 그리고 어떤 믿음 같은 것. 뭐 몸도 마음도 많이 정리가 됐다고 봅니다. 아 그럼요. 외국인도 신내림 가능하죠. 얼마 전에 저쪽 터키 분을 점사를 봤는데 그분이 그분 위에 할머니께서 같이 오시더라고요. 그리고 여기서 받으시고 외국으로 가셔서 점사를 점사를 보시고 여러 가지 행위를 하신 분들이 많이 있어요. The power of shamans to foresee the future cannot be explained by science. So does it really come from gods, or is it merely human intuition? In Oriental countries, ghi is considered to be a key element that makes up the universe. In other words, every object, creature, and ecosystem possesses this ghi. It is also believed that the ghee must flow freely within the body for a person to be healthy. By training their ghee, a handful of individuals will have regained their health. What are their secrets? The skirt of Garyung Mountain is well known for its strong gi. And here, some people have gathered to train their minds and bodies through a special gi training. Their trainer may be an old man, but his eyes are shrewd and sharp. According to his orders, the trainees move in perfect sync.
올 때는 진짜 여기 산에까지 걸어오는데 걸을 수가 없으니까 양쪽 옆에서 부축하고 사람들 부축하고 지팡이 짚고 올 4월까지 지팡이를 짚고 다녔어요 제가 근데 이렇게 기천 운동을 하면서 굉장히 많이 좋아져 가지고 이제는 섬유근통 통증은 하나도 없이 다 없어졌고요 기 트레이닝 포커스 온더 체인지스 that the body undergoes daily 2시간 3시간씩 많이 쓰면 5시간씩 쓰세요 그러니까 몸이 변하지 않을 수가 없어요 무작정 하라면 못할 거예요 그러니까 이제 필요에 의해서 아픈 사람이고 또 이걸 느낀 사람 이걸 해서 아 몸이 변하는 것을 느낀 사람이 아니 자 얘기를 이제, 이제 딱 잡고 하는 것이지 자 원반 반장 펍! 천천히 손끝에 주르라고 The training involves breathing in and out in a state of intense concentration. The trainees undergo two two-hour sessions each day, one at 5 a.m. and the other in the afternoon. But wait, why is the trainer hitting his student with the split ends of a bamboo stick? 일반인들은 좀 아픈데 수련을 좀한 사람들은 시원하거든. 이게 타통법이라고 그래. 타통법. 기어를 열어주는 좋은 계기가 되는 거거든. 자, 아반자. 대도 역자. According to his orders, the trainees practice six moves that help them regain balance and gather energy. The key is to be slow but accurate. 이렇게 축을 잡아주는 자세거든. 그러니까 이제 이런 자세는 산에서 장수법, 건강법으로 우리가 요, 요즘에 그 의학으로도 몸의 축을 잡아줘야 건강하다. 그러니까 환자들은 이렇게 노약자들이나 환자들은 이렇게 한발 들고 이런 자세를 쓸 수가 없습니다. 모든 자연의 우주의 이치를 이 도인들은 우리 도인들은 말이지. 수리로서 우주의 이치를 설명해 놨어. 여섯 수리를 그렇게 구원의 수로 만, 이 뭐다, 이제 규명을 해 놨어. 그게 육합이라. 예. 네. 일단 간염을 가지고서 굉장히 한 10년, 10수년 오래 알았었고, 병원에서 약 먹고 치료 받고 하다가 약이 이제는 계속 돌연변이가 돼가지고서 더쓸수 없을 때까지 갔었거든요. 그랬는데 여기서 와가지고 수련을 하게 되고 요전번에 다시 병원에서 검진을 받았는데 병원에서는 이제는 더 이상 그 특별한 치료가 필요 없다는 판정까지 이제 받게 됐습니다. Can we really recover our health by training our invisible gi? Gi therapy sets itself apart from reckless treatments. Or risky alternative medicine. It combines spiritual exercises, a high level of concentration and meditation, and is gaining the public's attention as the nature's way of healing. Sosinia 하나의 그 목상, 목실을 만들어가지고 동네 어기에 세워놓고 가정 소원도 빌고 말 안내원을 빌었죠. In the past, the village entrance always had a junk sun or a wooden god resembling a huge person. What was once a piece of wood was reborn into something that could chase away evil spirits. Serving as the guardians of villages, Jiangsung poles are often built in pairs. 
The male Jongsung wears a hat, unlike his female counterpart. They often have grotesque expressions, perhaps to chase away the evil spirits with their scary frowns. The Korean Jiangsung culture reveals the wisdom of our ancestors to fight the evil spirits with both frowns and smiles. An abandoned haunted house. 처음부터 흉가는 없어요. 평범한 주택이었었다가 어떤 그 집안에 뭐 사연이 있거나 살인이 있거나. Who lives here? <웃음> 외지에서 떠돌던 귀신들이 있어요. 그러면 그들도 살아 있을 때그 습이 그대로 있기 때문에. What awaits us at this abandoned house? Oh, oh, This is a haunted house in Gyeonggi province. It's abound with rumors of numerous murders that took place nearby. What does this exorcist see? Accompanying the crew is a group of haunted house enthusiasts. With nerves of steel, they travel all over Korea visiting abandoned houses. But one of them bails out after attempting to go up in the attic. We follow another enthusiast. What was his strange experience? Oh, 
있는 것 같아요. <웃음> 느낌이 좀 싹하네. Why is the camera suddenly out of batteries? Could it be that whatever lives here does not want to reveal itself? 지켜는 보고 있었죠, 계속. 지켜는 보고 있었는데 해코질 안한 거죠. 